Hey everyone, today I'm excited to introduce you to James K.A. Smith, or as he is known uh, to uh, many friends as Jamie Smith, or those who pretend to be his friend. And I'm excited for you to hear from him. Jamie, thanks so much for taking the time to chat. Yeah, it's great to chat with you, thank you. Today I wanna to talk with you about a book that uh, recently came out, On the Road with St. Augustine. This is an incredibly unique book. It's not a biography. It's a book about the human heart and longing with St. Augustine, of all people, acting as a kind of guide on a range of topics from ambition to relationships to our mother or our father, to friendship, to death. So I've heard you say uh, something along the lines that St. Augustine is an ideal patron saint for today. That is a fourth yeah. century North African monk is ideally suited for the 21st century. So there's a gap of about 16 centuries, uh, not to mention geographical cultural gap. Uh, Jamie also quotes Jay-Z the rapper, Jack Kerouac the beat writer, Rolling Stone magazine, church fathers and philosophers. This is an eclectic book in that regard, but it's actually quite focused on the primary themes which are restlessness, home, and longing. Uh, Jamie, why does Augustine so easily draw together these uh, seemingly disparate threads? There is something very much alive about the sense of a quest, of a search, of a journey, of being seekers. Even, even for people who don't consider themselves religious, that, that's like an ongoing uh, uh, sensibility. And Augustine would say, that's not an accident. That's kind of built into the human heart. Every human has this impulsion and compulsion to find home because they are looking for rest. And, and so much of our frenetic anxiety and unsettled restlessness stems from the fact that we really, really, really want to find rest. We really, really want to find home. There's so much in contemporary literature, film, uh, music that bears witness to this Augustinian insight that we are questing for a home, for a resting place, for welcome. Not, not just arrival, but this sense of somebody saying to us, someone saying to us, welcome home, you're loved here. And, and I think that impulse uh, finds all kinds of manifestations in contemporary literature and culture. Uh, what opportunities or, I don't know, possibilities do you see uh, that, that might help in the sense of the restlessness people are feeling in their literal homes longing for their true home in a time of pandemic? I'll say one mode of encouragement I've noticed is that I think we've all learned that we've had to be much more intentional about community in the midst of what we've gone through in the last six or eight months. And um, we've realized that friendship does not come easily or naturally. Like you have to work at friendship. And one of the reasons why it might seem odd to talk about friendship as a spiritual discipline, but Augustine would say, I could never be happy without friends. I could never find God without friends. And so in a way to be really intentional about cultivating our, our friendships, even if that's like, you know, zoom calls, uh, um, uh, uh, in the evening after the kids are in bed, that's, that's, that's undertaking a practice that's doing more to us than we might realize. Augustine was a saint, a doctor, all of these things, but he was a pastor. And yes. elsewhere you have, you have written that the church's gathered embodied worship on a Sunday is the heart of Christian discipleship that radiates and nourishes uh, the rest of the week. Uh, that the church's worship uh, in uh, worship is like a gymnasium that trains and forms us. So can you speak one to the importance of corporate worship, what it means in a time where many of us potentially only have the option to be engaged virtually. And so you kind of feel like a spectator, but you know, in your soul that this is not enough. Yeah, it's, it's, um, I have wondered whether we need to think about this season be because I do think, embodied communal corporate worship is the hub of the Christian life. I don't, and I don't think it's an accident that God calls a people. Um, I, I think we almost need to approach the season we're in as a kind of fasting or, I, I don't know, I, I'm trying to just think about, because I don't think it's a matter of saying, well, um, 
now you can just be individually Christian, right? Or like, yes, Lone Ranger Christianity works great. Just go be, you know, I, I don't think we're made that way. I don't think we have the willpower for it. I don't think God wants that. So what do we do to uh, um, survive the meantime? When we could so, quote unquote, easily go to church, we could kind of get lazy about some of our own individual spiritual disciplines. And, and so now is a season where God is asking a, a revivification of our own immersion in the word and disciplines and practices. If you think of this as a season of a kind of spiritual fasting, if we come out of this hungry to gather, that's not the worst thing in the world, right? The book is On the Road with St. Augustine, A Real World Spirituality for Restless Hearts. The author is James K.A. Smith. Jamie, thank you so much for taking time to be with us. Oh, it's great. Great to chat with you and, and blessings on your congregation.